Hello and welcome to a Vector Tut's Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. A while ago, somebody in the comments asked if I could do a tutorial about alignment. Uh, so this is for you, and I hope that everyone else watching will get something out of it as well. Whenever you have more than one object selected, and these pens and pencils are actually groups, so Illustrator is treating them as single objects, these align icons appear in the control bar. If I click this icon to align the objects vertically at their tops, Illustrator will use the object that is highest up, in this case the brush, and align everything else to it. And if I align to the bottom, the ruler will automatically be used and everything will align to it. Under this icon are options for different aligning methods, and if I choose Align to Artboard, then my objects will all line up at the top of the artboard, or the bottom, or the center, or whichever I choose. You can also use the Align panel, and you can find it under the Window menu. It has all the same buttons as the control bar, and if you want to set the Align method, you can show options on the panel to access it. You'll notice that one of the options is Align to Key Object. When I choose that method, the ruler becomes highlighted with a thicker blue line. Illustrator was actually choosing the key object on its own automatically before. In this case, it was the ruler, because if you'll remember, the ruler was the lowest object when we aligned everything to the bottom. But now if I choose Vertical Align Top, these objects will align to the top of the ruler, which is the key object. You don't actually have to choose this option in the menu. When you have more than one object selected, you can simply click again on one of the other objects to make it the key object. I'm not pressing any modifier keys, and you see that if I choose the quill pen, then change my mind and want to use the pencil instead, I can just click on it to make it the key object. In addition to aligning objects, you can distribute them with this row of buttons. So let's say I want to space out these objects evenly. I'll click Horizontal Distribute Center to distribute them based on their centers, or Left based on their leftmost edges, and so on. But let's say I want a specific amount of space in between each object. It would be really tedious to measure each object and try to calculate the exact distance, so I can choose the spacing value in this field. First, I need to select a key object or choose it from the menu, and then I'll enter 10 points, then click to distribute, and now there's exactly 10 points of space between each object. Illustrator bases its calculations on the paths, their centers, and their edges without regard to their appearance attributes. Here I have three circles that are all the same size, but their stroke weight is different. I'll align them by their left edges, and when I view it in outline mode, you can see that they are indeed aligned. I'll draw out a guide that lines up with those edges, and when I go back to preview mode, you'll see that the strokes on the green and red circles hang out beyond my guide. If you want the alignment to be based on the outside of the stroke, choose Use Preview Bounds from the Panel Flyout menu. And now when I align them by their left edges again and draw out a guide, you'll see that the strokes line up. Back to Outline mode, you can see that the circles themselves are not aligned because Illustrator is using the Preview Bounds. You can use the Align controls on individual points as well. I'll use the Direct Selection tool here and holding down the Shift key, select every other point on this wavy path and then align those at the top. Now I'll take the Lasso tool and select the other points and align those to the bottom. If I were to select all of the points, then try to align them, nothing happens because Illustrator is treating this path as a single object so it can't be aligned to itself. Even if I try to select a key object, that's grayed out in the menu. But if I go back and select only a few of the points, now I get the choice to align to a key anchor, and now I can align those selected points. So if you want to save time while keeping things in line, use the Align panel.